Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa of BBQGuys.com, ShopperChoice.com site. In this video, we'll be covering how to make a fuel conversion on a blaze gas grill, and I'll also show you how to check for proper flame height and performance. We'll begin by changing all of the brass orifice fittings on the burners. To do this, remove all cooking grids and flame tamers to expose the burners. On the bottom rear of each burner, there is a cotter pin. Using your hand or a pair of pliers, remove the cotter pin, which will free the burner. Remove all burners by pulling the rod upwards and sliding the burner towards the rear of the grill. Through the now empty hole in the grill's basin, you should see the orifice, which is the brass fitting on the tip of the valve. Using a six millimeter socket and extension, carefully remove each orifice. Be extremely gentle, the brass orifice is very fragile. Once removed, replace each orifice with the new orifices. Again, be careful not to over tighten the fitting. Now replace all burners and test for proper low flame height. The flame should stand between a quarter of an inch and a half of an inch above the burner on its lowest setting. If you need to adjust a burner's low flame setting, remove its control knob and adjust this screw with a flathead screwdriver. Once you have the proper flame height, you'll want to check for proper flame appearance. An ideal flame is mostly blue and it doesn't lift off the burner surface. The flame's appearance can be adjusted by making small adjustments to the air shutter which is at the front of the burner. If adjustment is needed, remove the burner, loosen the shutter screw and adjust the shutter. If the flame is yellow, open the shutter some to make the flame bluer. If the flame is lifting off the burner, slightly close the shutter. Retighten the screw, reinstall the burner, and repeat if necessary. For Blaze 4 and 5 burner models, you also need to change the orifice that goes to the rear infrared burner. This can be done by removing the plate on the rear of the grill. Now remove and replace the brass orifice. The rear burner has a larger fitting, which differentiates it from the smaller main burner orifices. With all the orifices changed, we now need to look at the grill's regulator, which can be found under the grill in the rear right corner. When connecting propane, there are two options. The first is connecting a smaller propane canister, a 5 gallon or 20 pound tank. To connect this type of tank, remove the included regulator and replace it with a low pressure hose and regulator. Remember to use pipe dope or Teflon tape on any regular non-flared fittings. The second type of connection is connecting to a large propane tank the type that are usually permanently installed on site. This can be done by converting the grill's included regulator. Simply unscrew the cap on top of the regulator, unscrew the stem and turn it over so the flange is now at the bottom. Screw the stem back into the cap and reinstall the cap into the regulator. The cap only needs to be hand tightened. With either option, remember always check for gas leaks upon completion of your work. For more information on Blaze Gas Grills, please give us a call or check us out online today. And remember, at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition.